If you want to have control over certain parts of the mesh such as changing color without affecting the dirt or parts of the mesh in the cavities. So for example if I'm changing this color you can see the dirt remains the same and then you are able to change the dirt without affecting the color, the paint of the mesh. And this is a great effect that's achieved through a mask. Otherwise you'll be changing the color on everything including the dirt. To do this you need a mask, a black and white texture, that will control parts where the paint will be and parts where the dirt will be. And then you use a lerp to set this up with the mask being plugged into the alpha channel. And this all starts in Substance Painter and you gotta have an individual dirt layer which controls and inputs that dirt into the cavities. And then you can export this mask right here to use in UV4 or UV5 by having this layer and then right clicking on the dirt mask and exporting this mask to file. You then bring this mask into Photoshop. A few things you would need to do is making sure that you change the mode to RGB and change it to 8-bit, not 16-bit as it exports from Substance Painter as 16-bit. You need 8-bit channels. And this way you can pack this texture by using the RGB channels and add in additional texture masks to use into the green channel and to the blue channel, thus packing a texture with more than just one mask and having three masks to choose in UE4 or UE5. This is an extremely powerful method of utilizing masks so you can control parts of the texture that you want without affecting others and I use this all the time.